Hi guys, my name is Robert Feranek, I'm from Federal Academy and in this video we are going to speak about how to create vias in different Altium versions. We are going to speak about this because there are some differences. For demonstration I'm going to use Altium 13.2 as the old version of Altium and Altium 16.1 as the new version of Altium. First the old Altium version. Here it is uh, pretty straightforward, it's, it's very simple. Click on your PCB, place via, click. We would like to connect the via to ground, so we are placing ground via. Escape and if you would like to adjust the parameters of via, double click and you can do it here. So for example we can, what we can do? We can change the hole and the diameter of the via. Normally for the true hole vias we use 0.45 mm and 0.2 mm. If you would like to use true hole vias, here you need to specify that the via will start on the top layer and it will finish on the bottom layer. Because we have 12 layer PCB, in our case it means it starts on layer 1 and it finishes on layer 12. So this specifies the true hole via, the via which goes through the whole PCB. If you would like to mask the via, you know, you would like to have the green color on the via, use this. This is what I normally use. I mask them. Okay. If you would like to place a micro via or buried via in your PCB, it's very simple. Place via ground escape double click. Micro vias are usually smaller. So I will use 0 0.27 and the whole size 0 0.1. Again, this is what we normally use in our PCBs. And uh, instead of going through the whole PCB, this micro via only will go from layer 1 to layer 2. For stenting on top, OK. Yeah, so this is true hole via and this is a micro via between layer 1 and layer 2. In the new Altium, it is a little bit different, watch. Click on PCB, place via, click, ground, escape, double click. What diameter we will use for true hole via? 0.45 and here, do you remember? 0.2. This is what is different, okay? Before, we selected what? The start layer and the end layer, where the via starts and where it finishes. Here in the new Altium you need to select drill pair. So in our case for true hole via we need to select layer 1 to layer 12. It means we are going to drill through whole 12 layer PCB from layer 1 to layer 12. For stenting on top, for stenting on bottom. Okay. For uh, micro via, click on place, via, click, ground, escape, double click. Do you remember the diameter? 0 0.27 and here 0 0.1. And for this micro via, from layer 1 to layer 2, we need to select this one, yeah, L1 to L2. Click, OK. This means that in the new Altium, before you actually start using the vias, you need to specify the drill pairs. For example, I double click on this via. Let's say we would like to use a via which goes between layer 2 
and layer 11 see it's not here layer 2 and layer 11 here is a button drill pairs click here add a drill pair from layer 2 to layer 11 okay and don't forget also click here select this add layer 2 layer 11 okay okay and now if you have a look here is the layer 2 and layer 11 so in case you would like to create a via which goes only from layer 2 to layer 11 you select this okay what is also different maybe you notice there is something i cancel this in the new altium what is called templates when i double click here here you can see template in uh, this case in this file which i'm showing you these templates are created automatically here you can see all the vias which are used in the board how this can be helpful if you would like to use for example the micro via you can very simply just select this and it will automatically set the proper diameter and the whole size for the micro via how do i know it's this is the micro via based on these numbers the micro via diameter size is 27 or 0 0.27 and the hole is 0 0.1 so this is the v27 h10 okay this is the micro via and here you will select the layer one layer two okay it's now micro via this uh, template uh, there are some other uh, ways how you can use it if you like you can have a look on the altium help site and uh, study how you can create the uh, libraries for the vias and for the paths normally i don't really use it i need to say that the names which are here in the drill pairs l1 l2 l3 they are based on the names how you call your layers so for example if you call them differently options layer stack manager like top and bottom you will see it differently i need to wait a little bit okay yeah top bottom i use the simple names because it's very easy to use them in the rules and it's uh, very short so these names here are short and it's really clear it's very easy to use i will put it back because i would like to show you one more thing and it's uh, how to create the rules for placing the vias automatically this what i'm going to show you now is something what i don't really use but some people they may use it and it also shows the difference in uh, using via rules in the old altium and in the new altium we are going to set up the rules which will automatically pick the right via depends on what layers you will be routing on so for example if you will be routing on layer one and then when you go on layer two Altium will automatically use the micro via if you go from the layer one or top layer to the bottom layer Altium will automatically use the true hole via click on design rules and here under design rules routing routing via style i already set two of the rules we need three rules let's have a look on this first one rule for true hole vias when we are going to use the true hole vias always when we are connecting the top layer and the bottom layer layer one and layer 12 
then Altium should use the true hole via with the dimensions like via diameter 0.45 and the via hole 0.2 millimeter. Always when uh, you will be routing or connecting the layer 1 and the layer 2, the Altium should automatically use the micro via with the dimensions 0.27 the via diameter and the 0.1 the hole size. Always when you are connecting layer 2, layer 3, use the micro via. When you are connecting layer 10, layer 11 or layer 11 and layer 12, always use the micro via. What is missing is the rule for buried via, which uh, will be used when you will be connecting layer 3 to layer 10. So let's create it. Right click, new rule, click, buried via, double click. The rule will be start layer L3 and the stop layer is L10. I will delete this. Then use the buried via and I know the Diameter of the buried via should be 0.45 and the whole size of the buried via should be 0.2. Okay. Now let's have a look what we created. I will cancel this. Always when you would like to use these rules, you need to be sure you have all the layers which you are going to use you need to have them enabled. So click here and enable all the signal layers. Click and start routing on the top layer. Now we are going to move to the layer two. You can use the uh, plus sign on your keyboard. So I click and plus. It goes on the layer two and it automatically uses the micro via. From the layer 2 to layer 3, what Altium should use? Micro via again. Okay. Now we are on the layer 3 and we would like to go to layer 10. What kind of via Altium should use? Buried via. Press plus, 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 plus. We are on the layer 10. Now we would like to move to layer 11. What we should use? micro via again okay and we go on the top layer micro via again if we would like to connect the top and bottom layer altium should automatically use true all via so click here we are on the top layer and on the bottom layer press minus on the bottom layer and it automatically use the through all via. In the new Altium, click on Design Rules. And uh, again, I set up two of the three rules. So let's have a look. True hole via rule. Always when we start on layer 1 and we continue on the layer 12, use the via from template. This is what is different, yeah? Use the via from template with the diameter 0.45 mm and the whole size 0.2 mm. Check. Always when uh, you are routing between layer 1 and layer 2, use the micro via. Or when you are routing between layer 2 and layer 3, layer 10, layer 11, or layer, layer 11, layer 12, use the micro vias. Here, Again, select from the templates. This is the micro via. The diameter is 0 0.27 and the whole size is 0 0.1. Check. The rule what is missing is the buried via. Right click, new rule. Click buried via. Double click. Custom query. When we start on layer 3 and continue on layer 10, use the template, 
and use this via where the diameter is 0.45 and the hole size is 0.2 millimeter. Check. OK. Cancel and let's try it. Don't forget to enable all the signal layers. Click. Press plus. We are on the layer 2. Press plus. We are on the layer 3. Press plus. We continue to layer 10. Plus, 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 plus. Now go on the layer 11 and the bottom layer. Let's try also the top bottom connection. So I go on the top and press minus go on the bottom layer. Perfect. As I explained, I don't really use this automatic via selection because uh, normally I do not route the whole track at once. Usually I route them based on the layers and uh, I simply just copy and paste the vias. So just select it, control C, control V. And it's very useful and quick uh, in many cases. For example, if you if you do fan out, I can copy the track, the via, also the track on the layer 2 and via on the layer 2. Control C and just press Control V. And I already have like, you know, track and the via, and also the track here and the via here. Just press one Control V. It's much, much faster comparing to if I was drawing it. Also, what I wanted to mention, if you would like to get more information, just Google for Altium via templates and click here. There is a lot of information about how to use the templates and the pad and via libraries. So you, if you like, you can read it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to check out our other videos and uh, see you next time.